the hole, let's cook some country ribs. They're not ribs and they're not country, but they're pork. So let's cook them up, stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to my backyard. What I got going on for you today is I've got a mess of these pork country ribs. They're not really ribs, they're cut from the pork shoulder. And uh, they're all inconsistent sizes. And they just sort of look like ribs, but they're not. Anyway, uh, before I forget, this is a Kickstarter video for my buddy Charlie from Pickles Barbecue. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it, Charlie? Yeah, Pickles Barbecue. I gave him some of my Root Boy Rub once upon a time, and he made country ribs with it. So I thought I'm going to return the favor. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make some country ribs. But I'm going to make a beer barbecue sauce to go on these, which is going to be really interesting. I think you'll stick around for that. I hope you will. Anyway, you know what we're going to do? The same thing we always do. We're going to put some Sang Stir Fry oil on there. It doesn't really need it because they're kind of moist already. But I just love Sang Stir Fry oil. I love the taste of garlicky taste of Sang's. I just love it. We're just going to slather some of that on there. Then I got some of my Root Boy Rub number two. This is my barbecue rub that I make. I used to sell it on Facebook. But I quit dealing with Facebook because they pissed me off, <laughs> basically. And so I don't sell it anymore, but I do give it away occasionally. Uh, in fact, you can get some off of this video if you want. If you're a subscriber to my channel and you uh, leave a comment on this video and a thumbs up, I'll give one lucky subscriber some Root Boy Rub, which is pretty good stuff. I think if you ask Rivet Gardner, he'll tell you that this is the best stuff you can put on a barbecued chicken. I have to agree. It's good stuff. Anyway, Charlie did this. He made, uh, Charlie Pickles made some uh, country ribs with some of my root boy rub. He didn't say if he liked it or not. He just, he made the ribs and he ate them. He didn't make his own barbecue sauce. We're going to make our own barbecue sauce to go on these country ribs as soon as we get them cooking. Just want to get both sides of them rubbed down with my rub, my root boy, this is Root Boy number two, which is basically a barbecue rub. I could tell you what's in it, but I don't have the time for that. Anyway, it's got a lot of good stuff in it, and it brings a lot of good color to the meat. Yeah, there you go. Get some of that on there. Got it in a nice shaker can. Makes it easy. Anyway, got my ribs rubbed down. Let's get them on the fire. I'll show you what that looks like. And then we're going to make a beer-based barbecue sauce to put on these ribs. So stay tuned. My pork country ribs are on indirect heat in the middle of the grill. There's fire on both sides. We're going to put the cover on that and let them cook a while. And then when the fire gets hot enough, we'll make this barbecue sauce. So stay tuned. All right, my country ribs are coming along. So let's make this beer barbecue sauce. Starts out with some ketchup. Heinz ketchup. A cup of ketchup. In the pot. Pot got a little too hot. That's okay. Next comes a half a cup of grandma's molasses, unsulfurated. I don't know what that means, but a half a cup of grandma's molasses in there. And a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. That's your basic barbecue sauce right there. That's a, a barbecue sauce. You could use that just as it is. But we want to flavor up our sauce and we want to give it a little heat as well. So there's your barbecue sauce, right? Basic, basic barbecue sauce. But we want to flavor it, further flavor it. We're going to put some honey. A little bit of honey for some sweetness. About a fourth of a cup of honey. Nothing like honey. Honey sweet, if you like honey. Then we need some, uh, some of my rub, some of my root boy rub for seasoning in the barbecue sauce. About a heaping tablespoon of that in there. Get that, that's got salt, pepper, and onion in it, among other things. But that'll help uh, flavor up our barbecue sauce into a nice sauce. Okay, and then we got the kicker, which is some beer. About half a bottle. This just happens to be a Amber Ale. This is some supermarket beer. You know all about that. That's that Aldi stuff. About a half a bottle of that. I'll probably drink the other half myself. But I got a beer for later myself too. 
a little bit more than a half a bottle, maybe three-fourths of a bottle of beer in my sauce. That'll smooth that sauce out and the alcohol will burn off of there. You won't uh, have any alcohol in your barbecue sauce, but you'll get the flavor of the beer. And then we want a little bit of heat because we like a little heat to our barbecue sauce. So we're going to put in some of the rooster, Dan. Respect the rooster. A little bit of sriracha, a good shot of sriracha. You know why? Because we like a nice hot barbecue sauce. We like to have a little bit of heat to our barbecue sauce. Get that mixed up. There we go. That's a good barbecue sauce right there. Look at that. The only thing you've got to do is cook that down a little bit. Get it a little thickened up a little bit. And then we'll uh, put it on our meat. And I'll show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, our meat is getting on towards done. So we're going to uh, glaze it up with some of that barbecue sauce. Get it all over there. Mop it down good with that uh, beer flavored barbecue sauce like this. It's going to be good. Going to glaze it up. Look at that. Don't that look good? Oh, baby. That smells so good, I can't tell you. I can't even describe the beautiful aroma coming off my grill right now. Get that glazed up. That is beautiful. Butermissus. Buterifus. There you go. It's starting to look like something now, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. How's that look? Starting to look good. Oh boy. That's some good stuff right there, I'll tell you what. Okay, let me get them flipped over. Glaze the other side. It'll be time to plate this up and take a taste and drink a beer, so stay tuned. My country pork ribs are done. There's the Frosty Root Boy Mug Star of the Show. Here's today's beer from the Abita Brewing Company. Hop on. A juicy pale. It says juicy pale. I guess that means it's an IPA. Hop on board with this Jitney Pale, Juicy Pale. It's uh, 6.0 ABV, a beautiful pale, I hope. Let's find out. You know, that last one from Abita was a dud, that strawberry lager. Boy, they need to stop making that. Oh boy, this is really pale. Very, very pale ale right here. Can you see that? Probably not. What do you think about that one, Rob? This is from a beat to Rob. You should be able to get this almost anywhere. That's pale, isn't it? Focus, baby, focus. There you go. That's a pale ale. Let's take a sniff of that. Ah, it smells great. It smells like grapefruit. That's the tip off that the hops are in there. That's my juicy pale from a beta. Let's quaff the froth off it, Rob. What do you think? Hmm, it's kind of bland to be honest with you, but it's not bad. That strawberry lager was horrible. I'll tell you what, my country ribs turned out excellent. We're going to take a taste of that right now. Let me grab this one right here. Look at that, that uh, beer glaze. That's going to come out better than this beer. Let me take a taste of that. Oh, that's delicious. You know what? These things are so tender. It's unreal. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. My beer barbecue sauce is a winner. Let me tell you why. Mmm. Sorry about all that chewing. <laughs> Good stuff. Excellent. A pizza. Brewing company, not what they used to be, I'll tell you. I don't know what the premise of this one is, but it's kind of bland. I'm still going to finish it, though. So, babies, that's my country pork ribs. If you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go open the iCard and visit Charlie Pickles. A cool dude, uh, he's a big supporter of my channel, he always comments on my videos, he likes my videos, uh, he liked my rub, I hope he liked my rub, 
If you want to try some of my rub, leave a comment on this video. Give me a thumbs up. I'll pick one lucky subscriber to win some of my barbecue rub. And my other rub, my all-purpose rub. Anyway, yeah. These country ribs are excellent. I just, oh, that beer barbecue sauce is sweet heat deliciousness. Let me tell you why. It's got just the right amount of sriracha to make it pop, you know what I mean? The beer, two beers from Abita now that have been duds. Wow, we're going to have to do better next week. Okay, babies, that's my video. Go see Charlie Pickles in the iCard. Subscribe to me. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but we'll drink a beer. Hopefully, it'll be a better than these last two. Okay, babies, bye.